Pharrell pulls up on Drink Champs, says, do not get me involved in any crimes because I'm snitching. I say, I might not be snitching, but please, please, please don't involve me with any crimes either. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. If you haven't already, check out the BBN Apparel Store. I'm pretty sure you got something that you've been looking for. Hey, to be honest with you, I did not mean to make that rhyme. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? I'm not a tough guy, bro. I... I'm a really, I really believe in paying taxes because when you pay taxes, <laughs> when you pay taxes, it's like you shouldn't feel no kind of way right. dialing 911. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Literally, we, where were we the other night? We, yo, we was, at the, we was at the head factory. It was got, yesterday, they were shooting. Like four or five shots of shit. Well, here in Miami, yeah, here? Oh, oh, yeah, because that's in the hood, yeah. So, you know, oh, yeah, across the street is dead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so Kelly comes in. She's like, Can I talk to you for a second? We're in a session. She says, Can I talk to you a second? I'm like, Yeah. She's like, Yeah. So they're shooting in the parking lot. I'm leaving. I'm like, Where the fuck are you going and shooting outside? You act like the fucking, the, uh, yeah. the, 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 the Uber or the Lyft is going to pull yeah. up in the middle of the shit. Mm. But literally, I'm not a tough guy. I knew I'm staying my ass inside. And the fucking FBI is on speed dial, bro. <laughs> Not a fucking tough guy. <laughs> you people say things about snitching. I'm fucking snitching, bro. What are you talking about? Yo, everybody plays their part. This is a movie. Everybody you plays guys, their everybody part. plays their part. No, you're tough guys. Don't you snitch. Don't snitch. No, you're I'm civilian. snitching. <laughs> Don't do nothing around me. I'm not doing for the channel. Right now. I'm snitching. What the fuck do you mean? No. Hey, you can get mad at me. I do my, I, hey, I have a purpose. I have to be me. I have to do my job. And I have to play my part in this movie. Mm -hmm. And my part is, I told you not to do that shit. <laughs> I told you I wasn't built for this. I'm really sorry, but this is your deal. Your Honor, jury, are you guys listening? Oh, shit. I asked him not to do this. And if he was going to do it or she was going to do it, don't fucking tell me. Well, you're a civilian. You can get away with that. One million percent. I don't think yeah, man, I'm not good guy in the world. Like, everybody's, by not, everybody's not Everybody's not fucking tough, yeah. man. You're going to go through 25 years in a condition you know you are not built for. Yeah. <laughs> because you want to look tough. I am not fucking tough. You know what I, you know what I want to look like? Mm. Fucking free and happy yeah, 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 yeah. living my life. BBN Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So, apparently, Pharrell goes on uh, Drink Champs. Shout out to Pharrell. Shout out to uh, Drink Champs. Pharrell goes on Drink Champs, and he has this conversation about snitching. Now, this is the thing, right? And this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to put this up, because I thought this was interesting. I thought it was funny. And basically, Pharrell... He's giving game out to a lot of these individuals who might find themselves in the situations that uh, might need for them to have to go to court. Now, real quick, I just want to say I'm not talking about people that are engaging in the crimes with others. If you're engaging in the crimes with others, we are not talking about you. You a whole different conversation, homie. We're talking about people that is saying, look, I don't want to be a part of whatever this thing is that's going on. And by you bringing those problems over here to me, you're creating a situation 
where now I have to either be solid on some sh that I don't even want to be a part of, or I might potentially have to snitch on you in court, whereas you are then going to be really pissed off at me because I told some stuff that I should not have known in the first place. Shout out to Pharrell. I'm going to explain. First, I want to parrot what Pharrell said. Please, I'm not saying that I'm going to snitch, but what I'm saying is, Please don't involve me in any shenanigans. I do not want to be involved in shenanigans. If you have some, <laughs> some stuff going on over there that I do not need to know about, guess what? I don't need to know about it. I think Pharrell was making a great point, And I think that some <laughs> of our youth need to pay attention to this. Not everybody. Look, I get it. You wanna, I'm going to say something real quick. Look, if I don't care how good of a in the street fight a guy you are you in the street somebody roll up on you you got hands you can protect yourself you can defend your family everybody get home safe that's cool but that's totally different than being locked up in prison that's 100 different from being locked up in prison and i think that that's something that individuals need to get an understanding of that okay out here on the street you're a pretty tough guy but once you get locked up in prison, when you're looking at other dudes 23 hours a day, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. You look at you look at other guys all day, every day. There's no vaginas around. It's only other dudes. Some of them, you know, think they got a vagina. Your whole perspective is going to change. That thing that you did, that you thought was so important, you might not now think it's so important. I don't want to live with those type of regrets. So I need for you to do me a favor. I'm with Pharrell on this. I do not have the police on speed dial, so that's not a situation. I'm not saying that at all. But Joe, look, I don't want to be involved in any shenanigans. Shout out to Pharrell for that. Um, the funny thing about the story was, and this is something that uh, this has happened um, to me before. I've been somewhere with someone and then some weirdo stuff happened and they're like, yo, let's leave immediately. And I'm like, but you, in order for us to leave, we have to go through the BS. <laughs> like, we might as well just stay put. And, you know, maybe the BS doesn't make it to where we're at. And we were fortunate that in the situations that this particular things, you know, went sideways, the BS never made it to us. So shout out to that. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think about what Pharrell was saying. I mean, like, are you really going to be mad at Pharrell if something happens and then he has to get take the stand against somebody? I want to know. Because he made a great point. He said he's not built for that. He is not built for that prison life. So I want to say something right here. All of you individuals that decide that you want to get people involved in your crimes, you might want to start with people that are built for life in prison. And get away from people who are not built for life in prison. Don't do crimes with somebody that you know, you know they can't do no jail time. And then be surprised when they snitch. That's crazy. I'm just saying that. And this is not, I'm not talking about, I'm talking only about this Pharrell situation. I'm not uh, bringing up any other situations into the fold. I'm talking about Pharrell situation by itself. Look. If you're going to go commit a crime with somebody that you know can't do prison time, can't do jail time, you know it. Don't be walking around here surprised when they take that stand and tell anything that they know. Because they know, just like you knew, that for them, prison, it wasn't an option. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think. Leave the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. My
Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?